how one should govern cities or principalities which lived under their own laws before being conquered. Chapter 5. So how one should go about keeping control in a city or principality which before being conquered had its own laws. When an acquired state has been accustomed to living in freedom under its own laws, there are three ways of securing it. The first is to destroy it. The second, to move there oneself. The third, to let it live with its own laws, exacting a tribute and creating within it a regime of a selected few who will keep it friendly towards you. As, a as the regime of the state has been created by the new prince and knows it cannot exist without his goodwill and power, and must do everything to maintain him. The best way to keep a city accustomed to living freely is through its citizens. Consider, for example, the Spartans and the Romans. The Spartans occupied Athens and, and Thebes, creating a state governed by a few, though they lost this state again. The Romans, on the other hand, destroyed Capua, Carthage, and Numantia, and therefore did not lose them. They also wanted to occupy Greece in almost the same way the Spartans had occupied Athens and Thebes, making it free with its own laws. This did not work, and the Romans ended up having to destroy many of Greece's cities in order to keep the province. In fact, the only secure way of keeping such a city is to destroy it. And whoever becomes a ruler of a city that is used to living free without destroying it can expect to be destroyed by the city. And whoever becomes a ruler of a city that is used to living free without destroying it can expect to be destroyed by the city. That's probably why America's fucking president system doesn't really seem to be working. It says, and whoever becomes a ruler of a city that is used to living free without destroying it can be expected to be destroyed by the city. Because when such a city rebels, it always waves the banners of liberty in its former government, which are not forgotten with the passage of time or through any benefits bestowed by the new ruler. So, like, even if the ruler gives you fucking Medi-Cal for all. Notwithstanding what a new prince does or, or anticipates, if the inhabitants are not dispersed or driven into quarreling factions, they will never forget the former government or order of things and will quickly revert to it at every opportunity. As did Pisa after a hundred years of servitude to the Florent Florentines. It is a different matter when cities or states are accustomed to living under a prince and his bloodline is extinguished, as on one hand they are used to obeying, and on the other hand they do not have their former prince. They will not be capable of uniting to elect a prince from among themselves, and they do not know how to live in freedom without a prince. Consequently, they are slower at taking up arms, and a new prince can win and secure them with greater ease. But in republics, there is more vitality, more hatred, and more desire for revenge. The memory of former freedom simply will not leave the people in peace. In this case, the safest course is for the prince either to destroy them or go and live there himself. Um, in this case, the safest course is for the prince either to destroy them or to go and live there himself. So he has to take like his, he has to start a colony of his own, you know? He already took it over, started a colony, started building his own fucking way of living. I mean, some would say that this is what China, like, nobody wants them to do that, but would China take that approach in, in Hong Kong? Like, because, it, like, or any of these places, I mean, you see happening where, like, I don't know, I don't want to talk too much about it, but if you're taking over a land that has freedom, you got to take away their freedom. You gotta take control of it, you know, because that's gonna come back and bite you in your ass. Like, it's kind of like everybody's talking about it, it seems like a normal thing to talk about, but I don't see no, no less importance or any of more importance to talk about Russia and Ukraine as to talk about other nations, you know, like even what China's doing to the, to the, 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 we, the Uyghur, the Uyghur, Uyghur. We, is it the Uyghurs? They're the Muslims in China, you know, that they're, they're establishing power, you know, so mm, it's pretty interesting, this, this book right here.